Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on the Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus TIE Interceptor that is now, now also being released, of course. <coughs> so on the front of the box here, we have the LEGO Star Wars logos, and that the border that we've been seeing since last year, and picture of the two parts of the set in action, and all the mini figs there are. The recommended ages is 9 and up. Set number uh, 75348 has 957 pieces. On the back side of the box, see, see a picture of the TIE Interceptor in a landed position and the Fang Fighter flying on down with the uh, Mandalorian Temple behind them. And, and all the features around that there are. And yeah. And now onto the manuals, of which same exact kind of poor renderings as we've been seeing since last year. Thanks for this one, of which is the transition to paper bags and add for the builder app. And then how to win on the online survey. Add for rebuild the world and Add for some other Mandalorian Season 1 and 2 sets. And the last building set of the Fang Fighter. And as for the TIE Interceptor, you see it lists the uh, four bags that are used to make it, but there's actually an additional well, fifth boy, bag 8. <laughs> Bless me. But there is additionally in separate eighth bag that's needed to build it. It's just not listed here. Kind of odd how that is. First page, page of which add for rebuild the world and same with on the back side and all the pieces are, come with the set which is three pages and the last step. So now, on to all the mini things included with the set. So, first of all, uh, hang on. <coughs> first of which is uh, the, the, the Mandalorian, otherwise Din Djarin, which torso print, leg print, same as it's been for the, uh, as the uh, N1 Starfire set last year, and of course, well, same since 2021, obviously. And, well, backpack piece, same as that set last year. But however, one big noticeable difference is, of course, the uh, helmet piece. Which, if you can notice a bit. This, which has a slight update of it, which is the little line above it. Kind of like the one like the one that came in the uh, UCS Racer Crest there. So at least nice to see some bit of change in it that's not in a UCS set. And pull right off and face print, same as from those other two sets, but and not at all a hair piece like the UCS Razor Crest also did. And of course, as you can see, is an all new piece for the dark saber, which I say kind of well captures the look of it like very nicely for that but although it's all pure black but if you look in the show it does have some uh, white strips going in it going around it although it would be nice if there was some uh, white around it but maybe that'd be a little too much but still fair with this black blade to it but in the hilt piece just the usual lightsaber hilt piece but although it would be nice if it was an all new hilt piece but maybe that'd be a little too much hassle, but at least still fair as is, but yeah. And next to which have a, a Mandalorian Fleet Commander, which the, the torso print, leg prints, all do look quite good for how it is. And of course the helmet piece, which is kind of a bit similar to that of like Mandalorian Loyalists and Bo-Katan, of course, but at least does have some nice uh, silver printing on blue, and of course, 
the usual rangefinder visor piece which you get in this like they did previously. And of course holding both the classic uh, blaster that some of the earlier clone troopers all had as well as a thermal detonator. Or, of course and underneath that headpiece uh, that is of course his main face printing and the same hair piece that we, we've been seeing for the, some of the last few sets as well starting with Finn of course well Finn in the sequel trilogy sets of course oh well. okay anyways and now on to the uh, TIE fighter pilot which kind of similar to what we've had for the last couple of TIE fighter pilots so like with some Good printing for the helmet with the imperial symbol and or empire symbol and all the torso printing quite similar to that and holding a small blaster right there and underneath which is a female face printing which is quite all new for this one so at least good update for that and last of which is this is the astronaut droid R2E6 so as the quite similar to like most astromech droid head kind of pieces, but nice to see in black, which we haven't seen in quite a while. Okay. As you know, and on the back side, which there is some bit of back torso printing on all the mini figs, but however, the Mandalorian fleet commander, only one with a double side face, of course. And of course, the TIE Fire Pilot still has that large gap for the, on the helmet part, but whatever. Yeah, and so now that's about it with the minifigs. Now onto the set itself, or one half of the set itself. Which being the Mandalorian Fang Fighter, of course. And of course, this is which all new vehicle to add to the uh, Lego Star Wars catalog, of course. And of course, from first glance, does seem kind of close to a Mandalorian Starfighter, or but except doesn't able to fold the wings right up and turn in the middle. Well, although the last, whereas the last one of it that we've had, which was just about two years ago, 2021, of course, but it was for Clone Wars, of course. But, and of course, the color scheme of like white and light gray was kind of workable, but not too accurate, but still livable, but yeah. That's for the front part of which, as you can see. Does have some good curving at the front parts with those corner slopes, and also what you get a lot of is the a uh, gold bar piece in white. Nice to see there. And of course, you got a lot of curved, uh, or I mean corner brick plates around here, and the car hood piece on it. Kind of weird seeing it there. And as for the Kind of interesting design with the all the corner plates in it, all different directions and a, a, a gold bar piece in there. Kind of interesting how that is. And now for this other side, which kind of neat snot technique going on, and with these all these blasters bits that are made of lightsaber hilts and things. And of course the cockpit kind of piece, just about the same as we have for the. Uh, last few X wings, okay. and of course, can like flip open and and of course have a little seat for that. But however, kind of plenty of this tan seat in there and a bucket handle piece is on there for joysticks or controllers and a couple of clear blue stud or plates for that representing like other buttons and some and a control panel on but which is actually printed so and a little thing to keep in mind this set doesn't not have any stickers in which of course good 
and of course enough space to fit any Mandalorian figure in there if you want to. And be sure to put the range fire underneath and fits nice securely in there. In this farther back section, have a little bit of greebling going on with this uh, little plate piece there. And also an interesting technique using all these uh, curves or jagged slopes in a few different areas. And there's the other wing sections. Still has this technique going on, but with plates as well. And then as for the back side of which, you do have those like these technic wheel pieces and also these bits and also the clear blue cone pieces acting as engines. Although kind of similar to the uh, Pirate Snub Fighter that I recently just reviewed, where it's three different engines in the back side. But of course, this is a larger version of that. And for, on the bottom side, do you get two sprinkler launch There's on there which you can launch off like so. But interesting thing is with these new style, um, this foot fire or spring missile, there's actually a little uh, hole attachment bit to it, which earlier ones just didn't seem to have. You know, this is which probably the hole that you'd put uh, friends' accessory pieces into. Although that of which, can, and the little thing to note is, if you can have anything that can attach like that, can like use it as kind of a stopper mechanism to it. So, a little thought for that, which I think kind of a good plus for me. So now that is about it with the Mandalorian Bang Fighter. And now on to the TIE Interceptor. And of course, about time to rejoice, because this was the first time we've ever had a TIE Interceptor. Well, since the very first time in, 20, in under 20 years, 2006, of course. Just like we had with the TIE Bomber earlier this year. So. At least this, so far, it's still kind of a good year of sets, but yeah. But like, as for these uh, wing parts, built similarly to uh, some of those other ones, but of course, still have the same feel as the previous TIE Fighter sets, and also extra bits to it with lightsaber hilts on them. And as for the center section which has a lot of gold bar pieces on there and also those little bits of it just for show and a little dish bar in it but however the design of which does look really good for how it is and if you look on the inner part of it I see it kind of angled into it kind of like we had with Major Von Reck's uh, TIE Fire for Star Wars Resistance back in 2019 of course and you know, see plenty of like snot techniques going along this the whole side of this and like a few curved and jagged slopes on both around it. And of course, and whereas for the spot that leads to the center cockpit area, it which has a little gap in between there, which kind of don't get why. Although I think, I think if like another plate got added onto it, it might kind of bulge out it kind of bit, but at least if you look at it from a distance, you can barely see much of it. And as for this center section, which does have this little dish like piece, like we've seen from some of the previous TIE or recent TIE fighter sets, of course, which you can like fold on up and this top part fold up, also like previous ones. And of course, on the interior spot bit of it, which does have a smooth bit, enough room to seat, seat your TIE Fire Pilot minifig into, and also a little control panel piece. I guess kind of the same as for the Mandalorian Fang Fire that there is. And you can sit your minifig into like so, and close it up. 
also like so. And on the top part, it does have that same exact uh, oh, whoops, dish piece like we've also been seeing on and some of the most recent TIE Fire sets as well, of course. So at least keeping up the theme of the TIE uh, ships, so of course. And as for on the back side, it does have uh, sort of the same stuff going on, and also some uh, rounded uh, plates and things going on in here. And of course a spot to hit the spring little launchers onto, which can shoot out like so. And of course, it does leave a bit of a hole in there, sort of like we had with a couple of uh, previous TIE Fighters as well. And so now, for a little comparison. With the previous two that we had. Like this one. The original 2006 one of it. And also... The sort of remake from 2019 for Star Wars Resistance, Major Von Regs one, which, as you can see, is which kind of a little bit longer than both of them. But whereas for this original 2006 one, it which kind of folds in and out was because since it's what they were kind of limited, what Lego was limited to at the time, and of course. Not at all any launching features of it. But whereas with Major Von Rex TIE Fire, that the wing parts are like fixed in for that. And also, the way to launch off the spring load launchers is by pushing this little lever bit to it. But whereas for this all new one, you can just spring load launch it off from the back end. It's an anchors. Kind of similar. Uh, windshield pieces on both of them. But of course this probably came from the 2021 uh, TIE Fire set, which some of this design kind of came from. But of course, nice to have some nice smooth design. And also in the proper grade coloring. And unlike with the blue that the previous one also had, but all the Major Von Rings one kind of had some some smoothness going on, but at least this which does quite a bit more, but yeah. And as for the price or value, which this which probably the best found. Like if it were sold by itself, probably like 50, 60, even though Major Von Rex TIE Fire back in 2019 was only about uh, 70. But since everything from Star Wars Resistance was of course worth a little extra of it, yeah. So at least it's still livable, but yeah. And yeah, that's about it with that. And now to bring the two together. And so now on to the final work. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention with the fang fire is you can like pop the hood piece off or well, you could uh, fit some stuff in there if you wanted. But, yeah, truly can. Yeah, at least good to know about that. Or maybe it doesn't count, but maybe that's just me. And so for my overall verdict is I think this is which a like really good set, or quite cool set for how it is. Like, do you get two sets in one? Uh, which, even though the last time we saw that was in 2016, but for Star Wars Rebels, of course. But at least nice to see something like that coming back, even for the Mandalorian, of course. Well, even though, and of course, although the Fang Fighter, wish it could have had a little bit more to it, but although. At least great to see a all new version of a TIE Interceptor. Uh, of course. And of course, although these were sold separately, then a uh, TIE Interceptor would probably be 60 or maybe 50, and a Fang Fighter around 40 50. So put together, and you got 100 bucks, of course. So 
at least it kind of works out for that. And of course, also great to have an all new piece for the Dark Saber, which even though for now won't be exclusive for long, of course. So, and of course, both of which do have some good swoosh value and good play value for both of them. And display, collectible display value, also well worth it for that. Yeah. Although I do wish the Bank Fire did have its actual features, but maybe another version of it could also do so, but yeah. And if you're looking to finally get a TIE Interceptor for your collection, also definitely pick this up. And if you are looking to get something all new for your Mandalorian set, show set collection, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.